Hey boss, how are you? I uh, hope you are fine over there. Now in this video, I'm going to just be working with you, showing you what I'm going to be working on the database. Last waiting all those steps taken on how we're going to come up with this database. This is going to be PHM admin, where I'm going to be generating up our database, which is going to be collecting our data. Now I'm going to be working with you, showing you how this thing is going to be done. So the database name simply is going to be YasinFizDB or YasinFizSystemDB. System DB. So you can just call it Fizz System. You can just move this thing as in because we are not going to be using several stuff. Or if you want to update that side, you can always do that. So simply Fizz System. Yeah. So it's going to be mainly Fizz System. So I'm going to just click right so that I can have that done. So I think I already have Fizz System here. Now we have few things. Ever much is Fizz System, we still have other few things to take care of, which I know you didn't put in your architecture, but I already have in my design. One of them is login. So we need to add something called login panel, which login panel is going to be having up a uh, different stuff. Now I may not create that login panel here because I already have that login panel created. What I'm going to just do, click on my that board there and I just do something called import. So I already have it created in my PC. I'm going to click on that file to pick that file there. I already have that file inside my download. So I already download picked some of those files there. So I'm just going to look for login. Login. I already have one here. So I always like using this. So I'm going to just recheck, so I uh, do, do it again. So I just click on my, I have to put that thing inside this dashboard. So I really have it, that thing there. So I'm going to just click there so that I can check on those stuffs like I said. So I have these details, but that's not what I want. So we need to track this. We need the users that of course we don't need it. We don't need user full name. We just need user username, not user email. We may not use email, we may need just, you know, so it can be underneath that, so I'm going to just put here maybe user, username, just username, like that. We need to know the system username and should be unique. Unique means it's only that given user should have that username, so that our system can have security otherwise. If user is already seen in the system, no one else should add anything. So I just need to add here something called uh, unique we need to add the privilege called unique so you go here and just add unique so so that to alter that table and i think you can see it's not unique that implies if we are having two years seen we need only one year seen or otherwise you'll say you're seen one two three something like that privilege so no one else should access the system so that's what we have and if you go back down in the system you should have something like that so otherwise i'm going to go back into our system here and i just go to mties because you don't want anything there on our design so there's nothing there really but this is our status so we have need this user id but username user phone name, first name user other name password we need to track the password and we also need to track the original password of that given user this will help us to understand the real password of the user so that tomorrow if the user happened to forget the password we can definitely know which password has the user given there and the user type is it going to be admin or director is it going to be cashier is it going to be principal who's going to be in the person to shape the system because we also have to give the user type and which date was it registered so we need to take care of that then on the other way that, that implies this is part for which you didn't tell me this is the part for which is very very important for the person going to be adding detail in the system then two based on your documentation we also have one as a student table so I just want to add me a student, uh, student underscore info. Uh, student info is going to be having different details, so I'm just going to add that there. So underneath student info, we need to add this. First of all, if I take back on this system, I'm just dragging this here. We have this inside our login. We need to track our user ID. So inside here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go in and add student underscore ID also. It's going to be big Vasha, big head. It's going to be 220. And I'm going to add that kind of ID to be unique like that. So that we have that part to be really unique, taken care of. We also need to track user underscore ID because that's the user we have here. Sorry, user ID, which is this, this here, where this one we need to track it here. And that's going to be end and that's going to be 11 nick make 11 then there underneath that we need also add the student we need to add the student class uh, student info is different from those other stuff we need to do that 
uh, if you just look on two fees, what, what, you know, we need to track the student first of all. Okay, we didn't ask the first name, so we need to track one of first of maybe uh, first name. But this time around, we are talking to student, so student first name and also student other name, like that. We need to track those stuff, the student detail. Then talk of also maybe student gender. We need to track the gender of that given student and and that's it, that's class. So class is tracked this side. So we need to also add the student class. So student underneath class. So we need to do this. Um, uh, student ID, student first name, student first name, student agenda, and maybe this is student gender and student class. And the class is also important for us to track student term. Which semester is it? Term. So it's good to know the term. Is it first term? Is it second term? Is it third term? Things like that. This is not very important. It's not very much applicable, but it's also important because we need it. And underneath, also under student, that's the student detail that we need to track. So I just need to give the version this side. This is a version. Joint is a version. Class is a version because you don't have base. You're going to give those details. And then that's also a version. And then we also need to track the student status. Is it complete? Is it you no? Know, things like that. Yeah, student uh, one and us uh, status, status, like that. All student uh, visibility, all things like that. Status. When I talk of status here, is the student complete? Is it still studying? Uh huh. Is this things like that? So status you can leave it end because we may change that kind of data management. That implies in a simple term we don't need to track all this. But otherwise, I'm just doing this for simplicity of the system. On the other way around, when you think about it, then you can always add that on your system. So this is going to be done for that. And there's nothing that I'm making unique here. This is going to be a foreign key. So you can add it as a foreign key, but I don't advise you. We're going to need to work on that either in Python or in PHP by the time of recording so that we can have that complete for us. Then on the other way on the agenda can always be that class has to be that team has to be that and status. So when I just click that to generate that so I think I've already seen you can see you now my table is actually fully printed. Oh now you can go on the other way around. You can also add this one to be maybe uh unique. You can also add it to index because it's gonna be important. We cannot add it to be primary key because it's gonna be a foreign key on our table. So we shall need to create a foreign key later on on the system. Now on the other way around, that implies the student detail is really taken care of. And now this time around, we didn't add the photo because that was not none of our business down. So this can be version one of the system. So let's just get started on the other way around and add another thing. Now we need also track the student fees. Now tracking the student, uh, we need to have other few things here. We need to also underneath our students. There's something I didn't put, like talk about uh, the stream, class, stream, blah, blah, things like that. So you can add as many more three tables underneath the term or class, after class. So we have other few things like maybe uh, student underscore stream. Which stream is that given a student? Uh, is it A, B, things like that. So that's also 20, 200. Then is student type. Is it boarding section or like that or this? So student type uh, or student category. That's under, not type is under category. Is it day student or boarding student? So you can either call it type or you call it category. Then also talk about student sponsor. Is it sponsored student or is not sponsored? So student sponsor, sponsor, uh, student sponsor, is it? Sponsor or non-sponsored student sponsor. So uh, sponsor type. So just say student sponsor type. Yeah, stu student sponsor type. We need to know the type of sponsorship we are trying to give that, or is that student holding? So these are all the virtual stuff because we need to take care of that in the virtual format. So I just need to add that also the table to be that that need there. Then agenda, we don't need to do that because we already have all those scenarios are in our system. So I just need to add that so that you check on the other round. We have the complete architecture design for our complete system based on what I may say on the other way around for student info. Now on the other way around, we need us to track one on us the student fees. So tracking the student fees, we have one on us the fee setting. That implies in a simple term, I need to create another new table. But this time around, we need to track the ID and the student ID. So I need to come back here and we add one on us the fees. So I need to add one on us the, 
uh, fees, just table called fees. Now table called fees, you can either call fees details or fees. Then the other way around, I can also maximize this one to be something like that. And then I just click there. Now underneath fees, we need to track one on us fees underscore ID. Where by fees ID, this is also going to be big end. And then here, I need to add something like maybe uh, 20. And then I need to make this one to be a virtual point. Kind of. I need to take care of that in the system format. And um, that if it is a version, I always like to use approximately 20. 20 can take care of that, or you can use 50 or 100. Now, I think my complete architecture for the system is done. So what I'm left with now at the moment is just designing the system. So my friend who is really watching this video, I think this is the main three things I need. I need the login detail for the admin. I need the student info that it will be tracking up all those given details for that given student. And I also need one of the fees details. And I think this is what I last just illustrated for you. That's the architecture design for my complete system and also when you come on the other way around, I also have this complete architecture design for this system. And I also need to work with you on the other way around fee structure which that's what we just needed on the system. Now anything else apart from that will be next after this video. Others stay safe, hope, love you guys, maybe you have to take care of yourself and make sure have this uh, with you. Others stay safe, take care and hope you wish.